Hello Internet, I'm Ethan and this here is my smart video doorbell that squirts lemon juice into people's eyeballs. So you know how it's really annoying that people actually have the goal to ring your doorbell, demanding your presence. And it's not like with the phone where you can just kind of ignore their call when you see it ringing because they can clearly see you through the window. And as someone who suffers with extreme social anxiety or what normal people call being a nerd, I have a desire to minimize the amount of time I have to interact with the strangers. So I've made this doorbell here to deter the unwanted undesirables so I can get back to my very busy schedule of perpetually procrastinating. So let's have a quick look at how it works. By pushing this doorbell here, I am alerted to the fact that somebody requires my presence. And by using my phone, I've made an app or website that can see through the camera inside. And then when I push this lemon, it will squirt out lemon juice into their eyeball as they are looking through the camera. And I've made it quite obvious that they should put their eyeball here. So we can see here, we've got this webcam and that is being controlled by this Raspberry Pi and it is just sending out a live stream which I can connect to via the local network on any device connected to the Wi-Fi. And then I wrote a simple PHP web script which then I can access via my phone or the computer and that detects the webcam and allows me to push a button and send a signal out. The Raspberry Pi just sets its signal to high and then the Arduino reads that signal and then tells it to pull the trigger. And I'm using the Arduino to control the servo to squeeze the trigger, which I stole from one of those squeezy bottles, um, because the Raspberry Pi can only put out 3.3 volts and its servo control is absolute garbage. But this servo requires five volts. And so I had to use an Arduino as a go-between. Just remember to always connect common grounds when you're doing this, connecting devices. You push the, push the button from the app, pulls the trigger, and squeezes out that lemon juice. Push the lemon, squeeze the trigger. Click the lemon, squeeze the trigger. Click the lemon, squeeze the trigger. You get the idea. So now we just have to set it up in the outside and wait for somebody to ring the doorbell. So it looks like we've got our first victim, a Jehodized witness. Excuse me, sir, but do you have time to talk about our messiah, Obi-Wan Kenobi? I have to admit, it may need some improvement. It's less of a squirt and more of a tiny trickle. This is perfect for the most dreaded night of the year, Halloween. Hordes of children dressed in horrifying outfits, ringing your doorbell, demanding you give them candy. Trick or treat? Well, this year, it's gonna be trick. You plague of tiny little pests. And who is this now? Possibly the worst people alive on the planet. Literal scum scrape off the bottom of the grime infested shoes of the garbage man. People that make me regret not pretending not to be home. The annoying salesman. So I've given them an extra surprise. Tabasco. When I was a young child, picture little two-year-old Ethan. This is one of my very first memories because it was quite a traumatic experience for me. So tiny toddler Ethan makes his way into the fridge and grabs out the bottle of Tabasco sauce and does the next the most logical thing, shakes the entire bottle over his face. It was absolutely horrific. So much pain. I was in floods of tears and so go to 
rub my eyes with my Tabasco covered hands, thereby aggravating the pain to a point of traumatic, violent agony. The point being, it was extremely unpleasant. And I believe that the door to door salesman should have to experience that unpleasantness. So they get to know what it feels like to actually have a conversation with one of them. Surprise! So that was altogether a lot underwhelming. Some significant improvements needed to make this effective. I don't think that would have deterred even a minor annoying person. But clearly the lesson here is just don't go outside and ring anybody's doorbell because you never know what kind of creep could be watching you. Unless you ring my doorbell of course then you know I am that creep. This is the part where I ask you to do all of the things. But it's probably not worth it in this case.